How much do you guys love the movie Up? But have you ever watched the movie and wondered, would anyone be crazy enough to do that in real life? Well, it seems there is someone crazy enough. A Canadian daredevil named Daniel Boria. He didn't tie helium balloons to a house, but to a lawn chair. Welcome back to IEO, I'm Charlotte Dobre. Daniel Boria is an adrenaline junkie, and he's actually from my hometown of Calgary, Alberta. In July of 2015, he tied 120 helium balloons to a lawn chair in order to launch himself over a stadium in Calgary. So I know what you're thinking, that was dumb. <laughs> Who would do that? Even though no one was hurt in the stunt, it caused a huge disruption to several planes that were trying to fly in Calgary's airspace. Controllers were able to monitor his flights for a time, but he eventually was lost in the clouds at 7,000 feet. It is unknown at this time how high he did fly, some are estimating 14,000 feet, which yeah, puts him right in the pathway of commercial airlines that are flying above the clouds. Two different planes were forced to fly under his contraption. Can you imagine being a pilot and just seeing like this dude being carried up by balloons in a lawn chair? Like. What? This is Captain Johnson reporting to air traffic control. It appears that we have an unidentified flying object flying quite near our plane. What is it? It's, 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 it's balloons. He had no radio or transponder and air traffic control could not communicate with him. There was also no way for him to control the direction he was going in. And how the heck did he even get down? Daniel endangered his life and the lives of hundreds of people on airplanes. Imagine what would have happened if those balloons ended up in a jet propeller. Now this did happen back in 2015 and it's relevant again now because Daniel just appeared in court to defend his actions. His defense was not exactly like remorseful. Even though he did apologize, he compared himself to other historical flight pioneers like the Wright brothers. He said, I choose to fly in a chair, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Which if you don't know is a borrowed statement from John F. Kennedy's historic speech about the space race. Daniel also vowed to do similar stunts in the future. He wants to get his hot air balloon pilot's license so he can quote, do the next stunt legally. Daniel pled guilty and was fined $6,500 and donated $20,000 to the Veterans Food Bank. If he had not pleaded guilty and gone to trial, he could have very likely faced jail time for his stunt, which the judge called unconscionably stupid. Anyways guys, not too sure how I feel about this story. On the one hand it's like yeah that was pretty dumb, but then on the other hand it's like how cool must that have been? The photos from Daniel's flight were absolutely amazing. If you want to check them out, the story link is posted down below in the description. Ok guys, it's time to respond to a couple of comments. I don't know if I'm a Mexican potato or an American potato set. I just had potato surgery. Damn dude, did they cut off your sprout? That's savage. Lander TTB said, I didn't know potato alpacas were real. They are very real. There's one right here. Here. Anyways guys, that's all for now. If you want to see more of Llama, definitely check out our other channel, IO Trends. He makes regular appearances on there, don't you Llama? Yes he does, he does. That is all for now. Thanks for watching IO.